the property that we are considering today is the right property. The location is right. It has buildings. The building, the buildings are right. It has parking space. The parking space is right. There is additional land. This additional land is a second opportunity that we can take advantage of. Now, with these two properties, if we are successful in obtaining this, we will, inshallah, acquire the right property. They have the, uh, the area there, they have the buildings where we could come and have outdoor events, indoor events, and won't cost us an arm and a leg, as you might say, by renting in hotels and these other events. So let's pull together as a community to support this pillar of our community. It comes to about four acres, and it will be purchased in phases. Today we are mostly concentrating on the first phase, but two phases put together, it will be total of four acres or 180 square feet. 180 square feet, it can be purchased for $15 per square foot. That will cover the whole first phase and the second phase. The price of the property is right. So everything about the property, as everyone can see, is right. What's remaining is only one more right thing. And that is what we will do. Shall we do the right thing tonight and in the next days, weeks and months? Inshallah, we will. Do that. Do you realize that you don't own your property, you don't own your destiny. You do not have control of your destiny. If you wanted to maintain a stability of any kind of uh, growth, any kind of uh, work that you've already done, there must be stability. And the best way to have a stabilized school, community, and family life is to make sure you know where you're going to be tomorrow. If you don't know where you'll be tomorrow, then you're losing out on your tomorrow. You're losing out on a future you can leave to your children, to your grandchildren, and all of those generations to come. I will take you a few years, actually a few decades, into the future when your grandson has grown and is going to school i foresee that your grandson will look at you and tell you one of two things either grandpa and grandma i appreciate what you i appreciate what you have done years ago and gave us help give us the great opportunity of growth that we have today. Or, if we do not succeed today and in the next period of time, what your grandson might say to you, my father, why did you miss this opportunity? I was told that this property on Old Baltimore Pike was available for sale 25 years ago and you did not succeed in buying it. Is this what you would like to hear from your son or from your grandson? The choice is yours. You know what's right. Let us all do the right thing tonight. And we have two choices in the future before you and you are the one that will be determined which of these two choices we will have. The first choice 
and I hope the one that we will succeed in is acquiring the property. The second option, which is not really an option, but if we don't acquire the property, where will we be? I believe that we will be sorry. We have to remember that in America, when people find out the broader community that you're getting a good deal on something you shouldn't get a good deal on, all of a sudden there's jealousy. And we don't want to be the victims of somebody's bigotry or racism as far as this property goes. We have an opportunity, let's act on it.